In this video, we will be going over why the Washington Commanders chose Fedarian Mathis in the second round of the NFL Draft and why the Commanders fans should be excited to have him as one of our new defensive tackles. If you're new here, thank you for joining us. Please support the Washington Football Maniacs by subscribing to this channel. And just so you won't miss any future great content, make sure you hit that notification notification bell. Fedarian Mathis was drafted in the second round, and some say he was a bit of a reach. And Mathis pointed that out himself. He mentioned that it was kind of a bit of a surprise that he was drafted so high, but you know what? His agent came out and said that she always gives her clients a very conservative forecast on where she thinks that they will tend to be drafted just to temper expectations. And in fact, Mathis did grade out to be selected between the second and the fourth round. And well, you know, the commanders had kind of graded him right around where they drafted him in the first place. So according to the Washington Commanders, Fedarian Mathis actually wasn't much of a reach. Now, however, fans will continue to debate this point until, well, honestly, until they see him step out on the field as a Washington Commander. And well, you know, I mean, I don't blame them one bit. So with that said, let's break down why Washington drafted Mathis. Mathis can both stop the run and he can also have a pass rush. Mathis isn't a specialty player. While he will likely serve as a rotational player in the beginning, he can be just as effective being a run stopper as well as a pass rusher. And in the past, Washington had to rely on a heavy rotation to bring in guys depending on the plays because there were players who excelled in, in one aspect or the other. But Mathis is above average in both. And and being able to keep him in rotation is a big plus. He adds depth. While I really felt this would signal an obvious trade of Deron Payne, this is why I am not an NFL GM. Having Mathis and Payne will provide great depth at that defensive tackle spot, helping to solidify an already solid defensive line. And this is also insurance for the eventual departure of Deron Payne if Washington doesn't offer him a new contract next season. And Mathis is a lunch pail player. The theme of this year's draft seems to be for the Washington Commanders has been guys who have had high floors, but maybe not so high ceilings. Meaning guys who are well seasoned college seniors who are NFL ready and will contribute right away. Mathis will be no different. He is a blue collar worker who will bring his lunch pail with them and be entered into the rotation on day one. It also goes without saying that, well, he's an Alabama kid. So it's almost a rite of passage for him being on that defensive line. Mathis is a leader. But while at Alabama, Fedarian displayed a great leadership and was named permanent team captain. And with a defense full of leaders such as Jonathan Allen, Chase Young, and Montez Sweat, having Mathis come in with his natural leadership will be the icing on the cake. After all, great leadership breeds success. Now, what's Mathis's negatives that he will need to work on if his translation into the NFL is going to be a successful one? Well, let's look at his negatives. He's got basically below average first steps, and he doesn't always come off the ball and gain ground with consistency. He's going to have to work on being a little bit more consistent coming off the ball. He's going to have to work on his first steps. His initial punches and runs are a little bit hot and cold, so he's going to have to work on consistency with that. His stop and start explosiveness in space can be lacking at times. He can be a bit slow after changing directions. A lot of this, I believe, can be coached up. And Mathis, you know, again, surrounding himself with teammates, such as what he's gonna be playing with, I have a feeling he's gonna be just fine. So what do you think about Fedarian Mathis? Let me know about this pick. Let me know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, well, please give it a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends. Let me know what you thought. And please help this Washington Football Maniacs channel out by subscribing to this channel. And as well, if 
you don't mind, please visit our Patreon page if you want to help us out even further. Thanks for watching, and hell to the Washington Commanders. Let's go Maniacs!